Hi friends! I'm back with another sewing video. This time, I hand sewed this summer dress that was inspired by the chemise à la reine dresses from the 18th century. I purchased 4 meters of this blue cotton fabric, and yes, despite the traditional white, I decided to make my dress blue because I like blue and it looks good. I also bought around 10 meters of this white tape that will serve as a channel for this cotton ribbon. I started by folding the fabric in half lengthwise, and I cut away around 34 centimeters for the sleeves, but just on one side, as you can see here. And then I cut away an additional 20 centimeters for the straps, even though I won't need quite that much. I refolded the large rectangle of fabric in half lengthwise again, now with the new length, and I was left with these three pieces. I pinned the main rectangle of fabric on my shabby DIY dress form, and I tied a ribbon around the waist to see where the line of tape will go. And then I took the fabric off the form and marked it. And I also marked another line above that one. This will be for the underbust tape. Here you can see both lines marked. Then I realized that my tape was a bit too wide, so I trimmed it on one side. I cut that off and now I'm able to fold it to a smaller width and cutting this line will also slightly reduce the bulk once everything is cinched together and gathered around my waist and the underbust. Here I'm pinning the tape in a line as straight as I can to the fabric, only on one side first. And may the hand sewing of miles and miles of tape begin. At least I had an excuse to watch, or rather listen to, a whole bunch of videos. Once one side was sewn on, I inserted the ribbon and pinned the other side of the tape down. I carefully sewed this side with the ribbon already in to save me the trouble of feeding it through later. And here is the first tape and ribbon sewn on. This isn't really straight or neat at this stage, but we're getting there. And now it's time for the other tape and ribbon. By the way, you will probably be able to see that the finished dress looks a bit different from the design sketch I made. I decided later on to make the sleeves simpler as I didn't want additional puff that they would get with the drawstrings in. And also, let's avoid some unnecessary sewing, right? And there we go, both tapes are on. This took about an eternity, but it was worth it. I proceeded by sewing together the front of the dress, but only up to the ribbon at the waist, so that I'll be able to put it on, of course. I also added the drawstrings to the front, but that process was a bit different since I'm making some changes to the neckline from the original design. I marked where the straps will go and the string was attached to both sides and where it's anchored in place will be hidden under the straps. They will meet and be tied together in the front, in the middle of course. Here is a picture of the strap, 
and here are the two straps being attached to this relatively shapeless blob of fabric. This process took a bit of adjusting, a few fittings and playing around with the strap placement, but once I got it right, I basted the straps on and I also basted the gathers at the top so that they won't move out of place once I take the dress off the form and sew them together. So I sewed on the straps and then it was time for the sleeves, which I didn't really film, but basically they were just two rectangles, almost squares, pinned onto the arms eye with some seam allowance. This may not have ended up perfectly, but because of all the gathering around the bust area and under the arm, and because of the flowiness of the design, the shortcomings of the sleeve attachment are not as prominent. And she's finished! Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this short sewing video and perhaps it inspired you to make something similar. I did this in 4 days by hand, so know that with a sewing machine you could do it even faster and have a lovely, historically inspired summer dress. Don't forget to like and subscribe, I'll see you soon, bye!